lot of people have been asking me about this gun recently, and I just don't have an answer. It's been about two weeks since I made a video on this gun, and that's just because I got so sidetracked with making other class setups for you guys with other guns that I just wanted to use. But in today's video, we're going over the HCR 56 in Modern Warfare 2, which I think is arguably one of the most underrated LMGs in the game that actually does hit with low recall and does pack a punch. As always, you guys know we got you with the best class, the best weapon tunings as always. But I want to quickly say we did drop a nuke in today's gameplay with this gun, and I finally did it in Modern Warfare 2, guys. We got it on Border Map Crossing. We got a double upload on today's video, so double gameplays and a crazy nuke on that map. My first ever last map in the game so my first ever nuke on border map processing and my last nuke on every gun in the game Anyways, guys before we get into today's class i want to quickly say if you guys are not subscribed to the channel notification turned down make sure to do so so you guys never miss a banger up on the channel we're on the grind for 5k and i want to hit that bang fam let's get into the hcr 56 modern warfare 2 what's going on guys so we're gonna be going over our hcr 56 class setup that we got in modern warfare 2 I want to quickly say this LMG is one of those guns I always feel like it's so slept on. It's such a slept on weapon. It gets no love. It just kind of gets a lot of hate. You know, it's pretty solid. All right, so I'm going to give you guys the best weapon attachments and my best weapon tunings as well. But I want to quickly say, I want to quickly ask you guys what y'all think about this gun before we get into it. Do you guys think it's mid, it's good, or eh? Let me know. All right, how about it with the first attachment, guys? We got the Bruin Taraco 686 millimeter barrel. I know you do lose damage range, but before anybody complains and comments that I, I chose an attachment that loses damage range, you're not losing anything by running this, okay? You're gonna have cons in every class set up and you're gonna have pros, but trust me, we're gonna basically be able to reverse this and be able to get the best damage range possible. All right, so coming into the next attachment for the under barrel, we got the Commando 4. Great, want you guys to be able to get the best aim possible. Coming up with the next attachment fam, we got the stock. Coming up with the Bruin MX9 stock. Hey, how you doing? Oh, right, God, I'm good. We got the MX9 stock. Basically, it's just going to help you out with your movement. For the next attachment, we got the rare grip coming in with the Bruin Q900 grip. Now, you're going to want this for your sprint to fire time speeds. And for the last attachment, fam, we got the Slime Line Pro Red Dots. I do tend to change it from Chrome and Mini Pro to Slime Line, but in this video, we chose a Slime Line. All right, so let's tune these attachments so that you guys can get the best possible outcome with this gun. So I want to quickly say... I've had a lot of comments telling me lately that, you know, for some reason, you know, my class setups suck or something, then some people say they're good. You know, every class setup's different. It's not made for everybody, but I hope that it just helps some of you guys out. Okay, so let's go ahead and tune our barrel. I want you guys to put your recoil steadiness all the way up to 0.40. Make sure you put your damage range all the way up. You want that maxed out. All right, let's go ahead and take a look at the Commando Foregrip. For the Commando Foregrip, I want you guys to put your recoil stability all up to 0.60 and put your aiming idle stability all the way up. What this is pretty much going to do is allow your gun not to sway left and right. It's going to help you keep on target. All right, so coming in with our Slime Line Pro freaking red dot sight. Flinch resistance in this game is not a huge thing, so you don't want to put that all the way up. But you do want to put your ADS speeds all the way down. Make sure you put this to 0.30. I like running it at 0.30. It feels pretty good to me. Uh, I do want to quickly ask you guys a question, though, before we get into the rest of the tunings in this weapon. Uh, let me know, like, I've been testing out tunings now for a while in this game. I'm kind of curious to, to know from you guys if you feel like the tunings really do make an impact on your weapon. All right, so for the Bruin MX-9 stock, I want to go in and tune this and put our ADS speeds all the way up. And go ahead and put your aim walking speed all the way up. This is pretty much going to help you strafe left and right just a little bit faster. Coming in with that Bruin Q900 grip. Go ahead and put that ADS speed all the way up and sprint to fire time speed all the way up. Now let's take a look at the firing range and let's see how this HCR 56 hits, bro. Let's check it out. Take a look at the C's. This is what it looks like. It looks like a meaty gun. I'm not even going to lie to you. All right, let's take a look at what this thing can do. I mean, to be completely honest with you... That's pretty accurate. Like, yo. Nah, hold up. Nah. That, listen. This one hits. This one hits. Hope you guys enjoyed today's class setup. If you guys did, let's drop 30 likes on today's video and comment down below your thoughts on the HAR 56 and Modern Warfare 2. And let me know the next gun that you guys want to see me use on the channel. Anyways, guys, I'll catch y'all in the next one. Peace. Like, it's just like, I just feel like I'm battling an algorithm. Like, I can't help but to feel 
Like I'm constantly battling an algorithm, and I feel like it's a constant hell, bro. I feel like it's just like it's a constant battle between me and and the algorithm. Like, oh, like who who are we gonna favor more, the guy from New York or the guy from, you know, I don't know, Portugal. I don't freaking know. Whatever you want. It, it just that's just how I feel, bro. I just feel like I'm just constantly oh playing a game God, where it's just like, am I playing a game or am I playing an algorithm? Like I feel like half the time. My aim could be on point, and for some reason, I don't get the kills that I feel like I'm deserving to get. There's just so many things that just don't make oh, a lot of sense. I think there might be a kid down here. Whoa, kid. Yeah, there was. Interesting. I don't know. I don't know. I mean, it, it could really just be me in this category, but I'm not sure. Uh, I'm just not sure. Like, if it's just. Oh, the kid's camping in the shed. You're teabagging me? Oh, <laughs> uh, what am I playing anymore? You see what I'm saying, though, guys? Like, I, I, I don't understand. I don't. I want to understand, but I don't. You know, there's days where, like, I really do play this game and, like, I love the game. And there's days where, it's, like, I play the game and I can barely play it for even even like an hour bro like there's really and there's there's been a lot of days like that now i've had a lot more days like that than actually like sitting here like saying oh my god i love modern warfare 2 i want to hop on modern warfare 2 i want to play the game all day i don't really have days like that anymore and it's kind of sad because the game is a lot of fun like you know when it wants to be you know i've said this before the game's fun when it wants to be fun Game's not when it doesn't oh, want to be. I have two teammates sitting right there and none of them killed them. That's just a disgrace. It's just a disgrace. Yeah, you know, I don't know. I just kind of miss when, like, skill-based matchmaking wasn't such, like, a huge issue. And I feel like it's just such a huge issue now. Like, it's, like, everywhere. It doesn't matter what game you play anymore, either. Like, it's it's there. It's just there, and, like, you just have to accept it. Yeah, like, even the game, like, Fortnite, been, dude, like, which is ridiculous. Like, I just want to hop on Fortnite and have a great time. I can't even do that. How is my dude not dead? Can somebody please just explain that method? It's like I don't I don't want to sound like I'm just a complainer, like either, like because nobody wants to hear somebody just sit there and just complain and complain and complain. But like, what is he? I don't know. Like it just doesn't feel like they care. Like it doesn't feel like they care anymore, and it's kind of sad because it's like you know. We grew up playing these games, and, and we love these games, and we had such a fun time playing these games. And they're just Look, not... Like, they don't hit like they used to. And they don't hit like they used to because, you know, well, they don't, um, well, they, they, they don't do the same things they used to do. They're pretty much abandoning what was so fun about Call of Duty, and they're just milking a dead cow. That's probably, you know what, that's probably the best way to put it. It's like milking a dead cow at that point. Like this franchise. It's like this franchise is like milking a dead cow at that point. And, and, and you know, we're sitting here waiting for, you know, maybe for them to take out SBMM or maybe we're waiting for them to, you know, make changes to the game. And I just feel like we're just not getting those things, you know? It's just like when. Like when can we when can we get when can we get a game that the fans I'll want? I'll give you an example. Ready? Like it makes sense. GTA has been out for so long. Target. GTA it's 5 years, right? has been out for so long, and their game is just way better. Way better. Wait, wait, hold on. I'm, I'm just wait, talking, man. My boy's camping in his spawn building. I'm not even gonna go up there at this point. No, nine, ten years that the game has been out in Alpha. Yes! Ain't no way. Ain't no way. Oh, Kyle's been out for. Kyle's been out. We've been getting new Call of Duty games. Since God knows how long. And I still can't help but to feel like other franchises just care about their games more. And it's sad because, I, like I said, I love Call of Duty. I want to see the game succeed. 
I want to see this, the game win, but dude, I just can't. I can't see it winning anymore because they, wh where are the devs? Where's the communication? There's none. Look, you're saying there's none. There's none. Oh, GTA is winning right now. GTA puts up updates all the time for their games. I mean, GTA is just on another level right now. They're just on another level. And I'm tired of FPS games. I'm honestly really tired of FPS games punishing good players. They punish you for being a good player, bro. They literally punish you for being a good player. Like, that doesn't make sense. They stopped the modders. They stopped the modders right now. No, the modders just killed this game. Like, look at the spawn. Look at the spawn. Look at that. Look at the spawn. Look at the spawn. Why would you spawn there? The game intentionally wants me to suck at the game, and they intentionally want to ruin my game. That's what they want to do, and I'm just so tired of that. I'm so tired of that, bro. It's so stupid. Like, there, there, there's only one reason for a kid to spawn there, and that's the algorithm. That's an algorithm. It's al it's all algorithm based. Like it like what happened to games just being fun for being fun, bro. I'm about to drop a 50 bomb with this friggin' HER. Like what 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 happened to that? What happened to games being fun and the algorithm not trying to sit there and and kill you because I don't know, you're just playing too good and they, they gotta slow you down. It just doesn't make any sense to me anymore. It does and I, I really wanna know what you guys I really want to know what you guys think in the comment section down below, bro. There's no kids in this game anymore. They all freaking left the game, bro. They were freaking tired of losing. But, like, realistically, bro, I want to talk to you guys about something. Since we got the worst map in the game, which, which is okay. I don't care. I've never dropped a nuke on this map. This is the only map I think I have never dropped a nuke on with. I decided to bust out the AC-56 today as well. But there's something I want to talk about. Because it's something that's... It, it, it's kind of bothering me now. Um, the more I, I see news on this, it, it really is starting to bother me now. Alright, so I want to talk to y'all about something in today's video because it, it's starting to get to me now. And it explains a lot of things in the game. So... I just saw a YouTube video about some dude pretty much talking about like Activision's like patent. And what a patent is, is I guess I, I really don't exactly know how to explain this for it to make sense. But the patent pretty much manipulates your game. Now, this is a really bad thing. I think a lot of people could understand how and why this is a bad thing in a video game um and i'm gonna tell you guys today like what this patent does what happens all that good stuff okay because when i found this out i didn't want to believe it either i didn't but apparently i'm assuming a lot of people who play this game meaning you guys when you guys are playing the game you probably lose aim assist a lot of the time your game will probably have like this weird lag stuttery moment that you just can't even explain well i think we finally have an answer to why that is so after finding out because i i never knew this until like i actually saw it on youtube from this guy because he has the patent on there and they're public knowledge it's not like these are not public knowledge these are indeed public knowledge so activision has a patent so pretty much they can manipulate the games mid-match and if you ask me that's probably one of the most scummiest things that i've ever seen but it's a thing and i don't know how to feel about it so i guess they have the ability to i, I guess manipulate your game mid-match that means your aim you know they can do so many things to you. I, I I don't understand why nobody's talking about this on YouTube. Like nobody's trying to bring awareness to this issue. It I don't know if people are are like noticing that could be a thing as well. But I don't know, man. I don't I don't know about that. That doesn't you know. It's just not a good thing. We shouldn't be allowing this company 
to manipulate our ping in game, to manipulate what we see on our screen in game. That shouldn't be a thing. And I, I just don't agree with that. I think it's unfair. I think it's completely unfair to the player base, the people that love the game, care about the game, and, and want to see the game succeed. I think it's really unfair. I, I don't know if they're going to change this in the future. I, I don't know if this is always going to be a thing. But as of right now, we have uh, a patent that basically will stir your aim off target. It will do the craziest things so that an enemy can kill you, so that it caters to the bad player base in the game. And that explains a lot of the things that happen in this game. That actually would explain a lot of things that happen in this game that don't make any sense to me. So whether or not they will ever fix this, we really don't know. As of right now, we know this is what Activision has set in place. And we don't know if they're ever going to get rid of this system. We have no clue as to if this system's going to stay if it's gonna go we we have no clue so i would love to know what you guys think about this in the comment section down below because i know to a lot of people you know uh they probably wouldn't like to hear that their game is being manipulated so that you know you just die randomly i don't think a lot of people would be too happy with hearing this there's no way you're really camping back spawn, bro. There's a guy camping all the way back spawn. I swear he's sniping. I swear he's sniping back there, bro. I, I thought I saw a dude camping back here sniping. I just don't think a lot of players would be very happy if they found this out to be true. And, oh, I think it's safe to say it's true, but there's just no solid evidence out on this yet. So, like, it hasn't really hit, like, mainstream public. I don't know if this will. I want to see this hit the mainstream public. Because people would be very interested to know that we dropped the nuke. <laughs> now, people would be very interested to know about this whole situation. And I, I think people would care. I think people would care because... And guess what? I dropped my first nuke on freaking Border Cross, baby. Let's go. Anyways, I think a lot of people would care. And a lot of people would, would, you know, they'd be mad. Like, who wants to play an online game and try to have fun if the only thing that happens to you is BS? Like, would you really have fun on that game anymore? Would you? How would you look at that game? Finding out that, oh, you know, like, let's just take a look at this kill for a second. Hold on. I was on a crazy streak. I don't know how fast the M13B kills. It killed me mad quick in, like, two bullets. I haven't killed anybody in two bullets this whole game. So if that doesn't kind of show you, uh, I don't know what does. <laughs> I just think a lot of people would care because I, it, it kind of defeats the whole, like, let me hop on the game and enjoy the game type of thing. Like, how are you supposed to enjoy a game that punishes you for being good at the video game? All right, let's drop our, K our freaking MGB right here. I don't think uh, a lot of people would find the game fun anymore. A game that manipulates its player base is not a good game. It's a very awful game. Why'd that car explode? We have no idea. We we don't know. <laughs> we don't know. I'm just happy I dropped my freaking MGB, bro. Like, damn. All right. I, I, that put me in a good mood for today, man. But honestly, guys, comment down below what you guys think about that because I have been seeing this on YouTube and it is kind of like, we've known this for some time, but it's kind of new now hitting YouTube. And there is proof of court documents of them actually, like, basically ruining your ping, your aim assist, all those types of things. I just want to know what you guys think about that, because that's a, that's a situation. Like, that's, that's a situation, man. I don't know. That's, that's something else. I, I want to know what y'all think, though. Let me know down in the comment section down below. Hey guys, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video, and if you guys did, as always, make sure you drop a like. Don't forget to eat your green beans, do your homework, enjoy this week off for Christmas break, and I'll catch y'all later. Peace!